What is going on everybody? Upstate Blake here. Hope you're having a great day. We are back and we've got a uh, lot to go over this video. Been a while guys. Feels good to be back making videos and sitting here talking to you frankly. I know most of you guys follow my other social medias but if you're new or just tuning in um, I was involved in a pretty serious accident. Based on the comments, everyone's been dying to know how I am, how my sled is, what actually happened. So we're going to go over all that. And I got to give a huge thank you to Upstate Medical, the hospital I went to in Syracuse, New York. Those guys took care of me. Um, even they were shocked at how fast I was healing in the hospital with my injuries. Did all the PT I could. And it's thanks to those guys for taking care of me. Their specialized teams, everything they have in place. Great hospital. Um, can't thank them enough. Next up is to all of you guys. Now, I know I'm upstate Blake and the wheelie guy. I'm always going to do power sports. It's what I live for. It's what gets me out of the bed every morning. But I'm not going to lie to you guys. Getting rushed to the hospital um, that Saturday night really got me thinking and filled me with a lot of doubt. By the time I woke up the next day, all of that doubt was gone and out of my brain. Um, just It was one package after another rolling into the hospital. All of the messages, all of the support from the snowmobile community, the YouTube community, um, friends and family. I mean, it just goes on. People I hadn't talked to in years reached out and it I, it left me at a loss for words. One thing that really stuck out to me is uh, just within the snowmobile YouTube community itself. Um, if you haven't watched the video yet, please go check it out. My good buddy, Jesse James made a video. Um, just all of the other friends, uh, YouTubers, snowmobile enthusiasts that joined in his video made it a possibility to send me prayers and good wishes, guys. I can't even tell you how much it means. I didn't even know all you other YouTubers watched my channel. So just the fact that I have made that small of an impact to the point that you wanted to send me prayers just means the absolute world. All I did was sit in a hospital bed and groan. My neck, my neck and my back. It was your thoughts and prayers that uh, brought me to the spot where I'm healing faster than anyone expected. I'm able to be sitting here talking to you guys right now, counting my blessings, and I just wanted to personally thank each and every one of you. Last but certainly not least here is to my Upstate Sledders fam, guys. Um, to fill you all in, they were the ones who found me. There are very few moments in life that show you who your true friends and family are. This was no exception. They dropped everything they were doing without a second hesitation to look after me, take care of me, got my sled back, helped the EMTs out, stayed up all hours of the night just to make sure I was okay. I owe you guys a debt that I will never be able to pay back. This goes both ways. I would help you out and I just love the crap out of you. Cannot, I, I'm here because of you. Injury list is as follows, guys. Um, so starting off with the most serious sounding but the least concerning, believe it or not, I actually broke a vertebrae in my neck. Be a fun story to tell little kids someday down the road if they're ever acting up. When I was your age, I broke my neck, so stop being a hoodlum. I lacerated my spleen, really bad concussion to the point that my brain was bleeding. Broke six ribs. The rib numbers were five through ten. And the most unlucky one out of them all is I broke my clavicle, which is what I got surgery on and the reason for that gauze band-aid in the first clip. They were also very worried about my lung being collapsed uh, the first night that I arrived there, but luckily uh, that came back within like the first six hours at the hospital. I just lucked out all the way around here, guys. I thought I was going to need three surgeries, only end up needing one. Per the doctor, uh, with my injuries, typically it's about a two-week hospital stay. I was only in there for six days, so healing fast. Oh boy, I'm starting to smile again. How's the sled? Resale value saved. The sled is okay. Real note though, guys, it's really nice when you're able to find positives in crappy situations. Um, sled's doing a heck of a lot better than I am. We are going to get into the accident itself at the end of the video, um, but all of this happened on the lake, so I didn't hit anything. All of the injuries I sustained were for being ejected off of it and when I hit the ground, but by the grace of God, the sled is okay. Change of pace here. So before we get into what happened in the actual accident, uh, we're going to rewind to last Saturday. I knew that some drag racing was going on down in one of the lakes. I was feeling okay enough to be, you know, walking around for a little bit. As you've seen in previous videos, you know, big sleds, all my friends drag race. I knew that they were going to be down there. I wanted to surprise them and just check in and let them know I was doing okay and healing up nice. But little did I know the surprise was going to get flipped on me. It wouldn't be an Upstate Blake episode without some type of helmet or goofy outfit, so we figured we'd make a joke about it and preach the word of safety, guys, so just take a look. Safety first. Moment of truth, guys. 
I haven't seen anybody since my accident. There's a new safety inspector in town. Oh, Lakes are not God, safe. Dude, unbelievable. Love you, buddy. How are you? Good. Look at your little thing over here. Morning. Is that cool? Are you that would be a, that'd be a uh, Jess and a sissy. Isn't that yeah, awesome? No horns over there. I'll get it for you. Are you guys kidding me? Hi, buddy. Hi, brother. Hey, buddy. How's it going, man? Oh, don't squeeze you too hard. Appreciate it. Oh, my baby. Oh, hi, you. No wheelies for a little while, but. <laughs> Yaddy, what up, brother? It is good. Never doubt it's going to see you. Don't ever doubt yourself. Look at all these people, guys. It's crazy. Did we just Logan. become best friends? We just became twins. Logan. Lane one. Lane one. Slow it down. <laughs> <laughs> there is a return row speed. Oh, I kind of like this. The big Kahuna made it out. Look at that thing. I don't care what it is. When you hear a triple, you just automatically look at it. Where are you going? Your biggest fan here. Hey. Getting ready to start some racing here. Still can't believe everyone did this, guys. Speechless. Speechless and humbled. Jagger on, I think it's the Pro Mod. Look at these sluts. Mark, Mark. J and J, baby. Hey, look. They're marking a thousand on this. I always do the final check. Good. Good. We got the camera on the pro mod. Let's go. Oh, I'm so excited. We got the camera on Dougie's sled now. Have you seen any of the viral wheelie videos? Oh, there it goes. This is the sled. Still cannot freaking believe my friends were able to hide this from me. Mind you, this is all based on me saying at the beginning of the week that we're going to play it by ear and I might possibly come out down to the races. It's just, it just blew me away once again. There's nothing better than a crappy situation being turned into a positive. They use this as a uh, donation fundraiser to raise money for our first responder so it doesn't get better than that, as well as raise money so that I don't have an excuse and I'm forced to go buy a tech vest. If that isn't a version of friends that are family, I don't know what is. Guys, I am blessed to have friends like this, and uh, you know who you are. I love each and every one of you guys so dang much. So what happened with the accident, and how do we get here? 
I almost wish that I had like some elaborate story or genuine reasoning to give you. This was just a simple God's honest fluke. You wouldn't even believe it. So you guys know me. I've been doing this my whole life, uh, snowmobiling for 25 years. All of the lakes up here, I know by heart. I could pretty much do them in my sleep with my eyes closed. Um, this was just such a fluke of a night. Multiple people said the same thing. They were having close calls all weekend, getting turned around the lake. That is exactly what happened to me. My brain from memory was telling me that I was in one spot of the lake. Um, turns out that I was actually in a different spot. I was only doing like 45, 50 miles an hour, not being reckless, not wheeling, nothing like that. My butt was on the seat and I was just going for a cruise. Um, with the low visibility, uh, you know, it was, wasn't even looking down at the gauge or nothing. I was looking in front of me and the next thing I knew, it is just a landmass out of nowhere, uh, 30 feet in front of me. Wasn't even close to where I was supposed to be at. Um, obviously the land didn't come out of nowhere, but in the heat of the moment, it felt like it did. My friends and people that helped, uh, load me up that saw the accidents of the same thing. If I, if I didn't have the experience that I did, or if I even delayed one second, I might not be sitting here talking to you guys right now. Um, I made the split second decision to try and well, obviously apply the brakes and make a turn to try to save the sled. As I was making the turn, the sled did complete the turn and I got ejected into the shoreline. Post accident, I was by myself on the ground for 20 to 30 minutes because I really couldn't move and I don't remember much, um, but I was by myself and that just, again, reiterates the point I said earlier about having the friends that I do. They did not stop. They went to the, my house. They looked around for me. They did not stop until they found me. So when I said I might not be here right now, if not for them, I mean it. Quick shout out to one of my sponsors, Woody's as well. If I did not have Woody's on my sled um, for slowing down on the lake as icy as it was, I also might not be here. So preaching traction products is an understatement. They help you accelerate. They help you slow down just as well. That is that though, guys. Uh, we covered all of our bases. Um, I am healing up. Just wanted to check in with you. I know everyone's been dying to know what happened. Uh, feel free to leave a comment below if um, I left something out. But either way, that's where we're at. Enough of the Debbie Downer stuff, guys. We got some really exciting news. I was going to try to put it in this video, but decided we're going to separate them out because this is like the one and done episode of what happened. Hopefully I never have to make another video like this again. Um, simple fluke, just moving forward. It's not about what happens to you in life. It's about how you deal with it. We've done everything that we could in our power to make this better. And I'm just so grateful for having everyone and everything I did through this pretty crappy process, guys. Blessed is an understatement. One last thank you to all of you guys for your love, prayers, and support. It means the world. Hopefully we are done with this. I'm so excited for the next YouTube video. We got some really awesome stuff going on. So stay on the lookout for that. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you next video. Weenie!